Let's talk about the iPad mini. I'm going to let you into a little secret at Mark Ellis Reviews HQ. The iPad buying guide that I made a few weeks back has really taken off recently in terms of views. To begin with, it was a bit of a stinker, to be honest. It didn't really garner that much attention. But over the last week or so, it's gone through the roof. And that's interesting because to me, that suggests that people are thinking about buying iPads right now. And this comes off the back of what we thought was going to be an iPad release a couple of weeks ago, which really didn't happen. But it's been a year, a full 12 months and a little bit more since Apple released a new iPad, which begs the question, should you buy one today? And more specifically for this video, should you buy the iPad mini 6? Before we get there, just a very quick word from today's sponsor, which is Paperlike. And Guys, if you haven't got a paper like yet for your iPad and you have any interest whatsoever in drawing or illustrating or just using it to take notes, which is what I do, it's an absolute no-brainer. And Paperlike is basically a screen protector which protects your screen, obviously, but it also turns it into a surface which feels like, you guessed it, paper. The effect is uncanny. It genuinely feels like you're writing on a paper surface and it doesn't dull the colours. So with a lot of iPad screen protectors, it ruins the colours of the iPad. It makes them dull and just makes it look a bit rubbish. That doesn't happen with the latest Paperlike. The application process is super simple. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. I've never screwed this up. And the good news is if you buy a Paperlike Pro bundle, you get the Paperlike screen protector, but you also get one of these, which is a really clever little screen cleaner with a built-in spray. So you spray that on the screen and then use that to safely wipe it clean. Works very well. But you also get the Paperlike grip. And these come in charcoal now, which you can see here, which is a lovely colour. These basically slot onto your Apple Pencil and make it feel much more comfortable to write and draw with. Again, a bit of a no-brainer. So if you want to check out all of that Paperlike stuff, just click that link below. So the first question is, when are the next iPads coming out? And the answer to that is none of us know. The only people that know when the next iPads are coming out is Tim Cook and the rest of the Apple board and some people who design them and do it. Basically, Apple knows, none of us do. And yes, we could listen to people like Ming-Chi Kuo and other analysts and Mark Gurman and all these rumor mill experts who tell us things which may or may not be the case and you have to take with a pinch of salt. But the truth remains, only Apple knows. But like I mentioned earlier, it has been a year or just over a year since we last had new iPads. If you're interested and if you can't remember, they were the new iPad Pros and the slightly weird 10th generation iPad. But all of the rumors say that that is it. There's not gonna be any more Apple events this year, which you can kind of believe. We're going into November now, which is unlikely to be an Apple event month. But bearing in mind that December is definitely not gonna be an Apple event month, that does only give us November really to see new iPads. And if we take into account the fact that Apple during their latest earnings call said that iPad sales may drop by double digit figures, well I think it was a, it was a percent, whatever it was, it was basically iPad sales are going to drop. Don't expect big things from the iPad for the rest of this year. It doesn't look good. And that's because Apple clearly knows that the iPad market and particularly the tablet market in general is contracting. And this is because Apple has all of the numbers. So they they know their sales numbers, they know that iPad sales are, well, they've always been tough. You know, people buy iPads and then keep them for years and years and years. That said, the iPad Air, although that hasn't been updated since March, I think, 2022, and the iPad Pro, which was updated a year ago, I don't think they need updating soon. I think those two iPads are absolutely fine. I don't think anyone is clamoring for a new iPad Air, and certainly the iPad Pro, the M2 version, is so powerful, we just don't need a new version yet. So we're not going to get any big iPad events this year, that's not going to happen. We might get press releases potentially. The big question is, which iPads will those press releases be about? And I think it comes down to two different iPads. The first one is the iPad Mini. Oh, this is a tough one, guys, because I absolutely adore the iPad mini. I go on and on and on about it all the time. I know I've made 8,000 videos about it. I've written 15 million blogs about it, but that's for one very simple reason. I still think this is the best iPad that Apple makes. And then a couple of weeks ago, we all got very excited because there were loads and loads of rumors about Apple dropping a new iPad mini via press release. And those rumors went right to the line. Even two hours 
before we had that press release, people were still saying, we're going to see a new iPad mini. An iPad mini 7 with ProMotion, a new chip and this, that and the other is going to arrive today. And what did we get? A new Apple Pencil with a USB-C charging port, no magnetic charging and no pressure sensitivity. This isn't it, by the way. This is the second generation, but what a letdown. However, if we do get an iPad mini this year, or even at the start of next year, which is looking fairly likely, to be honest, it may not be that exciting because all of the rumors point to a very simple update, which is basically a spec bump. And that means a new chip. It doesn't mean a ProMotion display. It doesn't mean awesome new accessories like a mini magic keyboard, which I desperately, desperately want. It doesn't mean face ID or any of the other things that you might want from a new iPad mini. It just means one that is a bit quicker. So in terms of whether or not you should buy an iPad mini 6 today, the buying guidance is quite straightforward. I would wait for November to pass. Let November happen because if something does come next month, then happy days, you've got a brand new iPad mini, although it may just have a new chip. But the point being, you won't be disappointed. If we get through November and nothing happens, just buy one. I still use this every single day. I'm using it now. I use it for every single video. It's not always in shot. It's quite often down here because I'm reading notes from it, but this is such an important part of my business. And I never pick this thing up and think, ooh, it's a bit sluggish. If you can wait a bit longer, I would wait until next year because whatever happens, we are definitely getting an iPad mini 7 in 2024. I'm 99.999% sure, as I think most Apple analysts and you know rumor people are, that we're gonna get a new version of this next year. But there is another iPad that I think needs updating sooner rather than later, and it does need some explaining. The 10th generation iPad, as I mentioned at the start of this video, was launched over a year ago. I still can't work out who this is for because the iPad Air exists, which is a better spec and has better stuff than this one. And the ninth generation iPad, which is the entry level iPad, is still the cheapest on the market, which means this sits in this weird kind of netherland in between the two. But if Apple updates this iPad this year or early next year, I think it's quite a good thing. Firstly, that ninth generation iPad with the Touch ID button is very long in the tooth. Out of every single iPad I've talked about today, it's it's desperately in need of shoving out the back door. And if Apple does that, something needs to take its place. And the obvious thing for that, I think, is the 10th generation. So imagine if Apple brought out a 11, 11th, rather, 11th generation iPad next week or early next year, and then demoted this one to be the entry level iPad. And that would mean that if you only had the budget for the cheapest iPad that Apple sells, you can get one with a modern design, which you can't do at the moment. Now that would mean that the 10th gen would have to become the same price-ish as the 9th gen, but if there's a new 11th gen, which improves some of the strange things about this, I don't know about you, but that makes perfect sense to me. Let me know what you think in the comments. What's interesting though, and I didn't learn this until this morning, is that since 2017, Apple has always updated the base level iPad. So we've always got a new cheap iPad cheap every single year. So if they do nothing this year with the base level iPad, they're breaking a six year tradition. But that means my buying guidance for the 10th generation iPad, if you're looking at this one at the moment, it's the same as the iPad mini. Basically, if you can wait for November, let November happen. If we see a new one of these, fantastic, happy days. Equally, if you're wanting to buy the cheapest entry level iPad, wait, give it, give it November, basically. If nothing happens then, in December, buy yourself whatever you want. And if you're in no rush at all, wait until next year. One of the most common questions that I get on this channel is, should I buy this Apple product today? Because I've heard that Apple is gonna be making another version of it and releasing it next week help? Or do you know when the next version of insert Apple product here is coming out? And they're such hard questions to answer because there's always something new around the corner, whether it's next week or next month or the first quarter of next year or the end of next year or 2025. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, only Apple knows. And the iPad is the hardest Apple product to predict when it's coming out because the Mac is relatively predictable-ish. The iPhone is completely predictable. Every September we get 
a new one, but the iPad, it just arrives in fits and starts and there's very little pattern to what Apple do with it. But the iPad mini, guys, I really want this to be updated. I'd love to know what your plans are with this. You Tell me, are you going to wait for this to be updated or are you just going to throw caution to the wind and buy one tomorrow? And if so, why? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to check out my full iPad buying guide for 2023, keep watching for a link.